Hello, in this problem I'm going to expand the quantity of y minus 2y minus 3 uh, to the fourth using the binomial theorem. So first of all I'm just going to expand it without uh, regarding the coefficients and then I'm going to uh, calculate what the coefficients are and then put both of them together. So it's going to be 2y quantity to the fourth times minus 3 to the 0 plus 2y to the third times minus 3 to the first plus 2y squared times minus 3 squared plus 2y to the first times minus 3 to the third plus, and then it's just going to be minus three to the fourth. So now I have that down, and what I'm going to want to do to right now is to find the coefficients that's going to go with each of these uh, terms. So for um, two y to the fourth minus uh, minus times minus three to the zero, it's going to be four factorial divided by four factorial times zero factorial, which is going to be equal to one. So this is going to have an additional coefficient of one. And then over here, it's going to be four factorial because that's the total exponent value when they're added up. Uh, over three factorial times one factorial because that's that one over that, which is going to be equal to four. And then this one's going to be four factorial divided by 2 factorial times 2 factorial, which is going to equal to, that's what 4 times 3 times 2 divided by 2, and then we have another divided by 2, so it's going to equal to 6. And then over here, it's 4 factorial divided by 3 factorial times 1 factorial, which is equal to 4, and then over here, it's going to be the same thing up there, just like that one goes to there would be 4 factorial over 4 factorial, which is equal to 1. So now we can start uh, expanding this the proper way. So 2 to the 4th, that's going to be equal to 4 times 4, which is 16. So this is going to be 16 times 1 uh, for, uh, minus 2 to the 0th is going to be 1. And then that's y to the 4th. Now over here, it's going to be this coefficient of 4 times 2 to the third, which is 8, times minus 3 y cubed, plus this 6 over here times uh, this, oh, that's a 4, my bad. And then times this 9. And that's y squared plus this 4 times 2 times um, 3 cubed. That's going to be 27. And then it's plus 9 times 9, which is going to be 81. Oh, and I forgot to write out this y right over there. So this is going to be 16y to the 4th plus, well, I'm going to erase this part now. So I have space to do my math. It's going to be 32 times 3 and then it's going to have a negative sign. going to be minus 69 y cubed plus 9 times 4 that's 54 times 4 that's 16 21 216 y squared and now this one's going to be a minus or because uh, I made a mistake over here it's supposed to be alternating this minus 3 cubed that's going to be minus 3 times minus 3 times minus 3. So since there's three negatives, it's going to come out to be a negative number. So 
but it's going to be um, 27 times 8. Uh, that right there is 56. 16 uh, carry the 5, that's going to be 21, so it's going to be again the same thing as this, and then uh, this cube term is going to, or sorry, but if it expanded more, there would be more terms in the middle that corresponded to one another, which is going to be plus 81. So this right over here, this is the expanded version of this. Using the binomial theorem, thank you very much for watching and goodbye.